I hope you guys enjoyed Kiboko Jam and seen a lot of your favorite songs. Anyway, guys, remember, our line is double two one five one. SMS us ten one Kiboko with your name and the name of your school, and you could get a chance to have fun doing the sing-alongs in Kiboko Jam. Anyways, it's time for a talent showcase. You know what I'm talking about? Highlight the limelight. My name is Nikita Kering and I sing for God, it's my talent. I started singing like in the showers, then like my mom used to call me maybe to say prayers, which I'd take as songs. Instead of praying really like normally, I'd sing instead. And um, that's when she knew I had a talent and so many people realized it and then it became such a big thing that like it started so small and it started growing really fast. Yeah. Kimi Rutoito Kimi Tebandao Kibandiga Jerusalem Kimi Rutoito Kimi Tebandao Jerusalem. I'm 12, I'm 12 years old, and Emikos Gay has inspired me. Like there is also Zahara, she sang Liliwe, she inspired me a lot. And Lilian Rotich when I was much younger. Yeah, but mostly Emikos Gay, she's my head. <laughs> I started singing when I was three and the talent grew like like each year and I became better at it and I started singing in functions when I was like around six. Then um, when like after each performance I started getting more and more courage which led me to be familiar with more artists which who called me, for example, Emiko Ske, to sing songs with her on stage. And it just became enjoyable and such a big thing to me. Yeah. The moon, the stars, the yellow bat, on Gila Suwine. The world sees itself, the ships, on Gila Suwine. He finally made the man and said he... I want to do music as a career. And I also do some aviation as my other thing because I also want to uh, be interested in many other things apart from singing. I can't say that is one who supports most because they all support me in every way. Each person has something they do for me and it's really important. Um, I school in Nairobi Academy in Karen. The, the secrets or yeah, the secret to keeping these things together and stuff is you just always have to have to organize yourself. You have to know when to study, when to do your music, and uh, when when to keep them together. And also, you sometimes music. I mean, studying and um, my school is priority, so I have to concentrate more on that. Yeah. So carry your candle. Run through the darkness, seek out the hopeless.
confused and torn. So hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. May I get to work? I get some wet and I'm going to get lost in it. And maybe at the heavens so bright, I'm going to get lost in The clear blue skies with birds that fly, I'm going Kids, even though you're around uh, 60, if you're a kid, if you're a baby, don't be afraid. If you know you can sing, just believe in yourself and ask people to help you. If you need more support, there's, I'm sure there's someone to help you. And don't be afraid to show because once you show it, that's when you discover something big and it might become such a big thing to you. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing so many people with so many different talents because it was really interesting. Now if you want to be one of those people on TV with all this kind of talent, simply SMS your name and school to 22151 starting with the word Kiboko or simply go on Facebook and just tell us there. But remember that our Facebook page is KT and Club Kiboko. And now guys, I hope your brains are all ready to gather some more knowledge because it's time for lesson of the week and I just can't wait. So let's get to it. My name is Sharon Wamboy. I'm in Nairobi Primary with my schoolmate, Rukia. Today we are going to take our lesson of the week, how to make a rose flower. And the materials you need is a pair of scissors, a thick paper, and, a, and aluminum foil. Take a pair of scissors, cut the, cut the clip paper, the size you want, then unfold it. Cut it into two again. Then you take one side, fold it this way. Then you take this other side, you do it like this, and it must be tight. You do like this till the end, then you hold it this way, you leave the bottom. Then you hold it like this. You put it, you pull it slowly, slowly. That way. Then you take your aluminum foil. Then you cut a small piece. Fold it again. Fold it again. Then you 
read this so that it can Then you cut the bottom and you have your rose flower in. As you can see guys, I'm all relaxed and ready because coming up next is a segment I love. And I'm all ready to be prepared to get lots of information about different countries. I'm pretty sure you know that it's time for Know Your World. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Today on Know Your World, we take you to the Horn of Africa. Welcome to Djibouti. To most of us, Christmas is celebrated on the 25th December every year. The Orthodox Christians in Djibouti celebrate this holiday on the 7th of January. Imagine that! Its capital city is also called Djibouti just like the country. Djibouti citizens speak Arabic and French as official languages. They also speak Somali and other indigenous languages. Djibouti was colonized by the French and got its independence in 1977 with Hassan Gouled Aptidon becoming its first president. The current president, however, is Ismail Omar Gouled. Lac Asal, which is found in Djibouti, is considered the lowest point in Africa and the third lowest in the world. Djibouti has a number of beautiful salty lakes. The lakes 